Hello learners, before we delve deep into this course, let me introduce myself and my organization. This course has been brought to you by Tech Mahindra Foundation and I, Shrotriya Chaudhary, oversee the Learning and Development Unit of the Foundation. Founded in the year 2006, Tech Mahindra Foundation is the corporate social responsibility arm of Tech Mahindra Limited, a Mahindra Group company. We work extensively on the vision of empowerment through education with three key focus areas education, employability, and disability to empower all to learn. Let's start by looking at a couple of real life scenarios. Situation 1 Meena got a call from Mr. Rakesh who claimed himself to be the customer relationship manager for ABC Bank. He correctly confirmed Meena's date of birth and then told her hurriedly that her internet banking details have been leaked and she should immediately block the same, else she will end up losing all her savings. Meena was shocked and did not understand what to do. Rakesh asked her to confirm her bank account number and the CVP number at the back of her ATM card to stop any unauthorized access by frauds. Then he asked her to share the OTP she received on her phone. Once Meena shared the details, Rakesh thanked her for her cooperation and disconnected the call. Soon after, Meena started receiving messages on her phone that a huge amount of money was taken out of her bank account. Pause the video for a minute and think about what would you have done in such a case. Let's look at the next case. I'm sure you must have come across such instances when complete strangers post hate comments and threats on others' posts. Here are a few. In each of these cases, it involves a criminal harassing, intimidating, trolling and even threatening the victim through digital social media platforms. It also includes posting or sharing negative, harmful, false, hate speech or mean content about somebody else. While in situation 1 in Meena's case, the victim faced a huge financial loss. In the second case, the loss was emotional, stressful and psychological. These are the two major harmful effects of cybercrimes in our society. Hello learners and welcome to our course on cyber security, staying safe digitally. What is cyber security? Cyber security is like a digital shield that protects us from cyber threats and attacks. It involves various measures and practices aimed at safeguarding our data, privacy and online presence from unauthorized access, theft or damage. Just as we lock our doors to keep intruders out of our homes, cyber security helps keep our digital lives safe by using tools like antivirus, strong passwords, firewalls or safe browsing habits. In today's interconnected society, cyber crimes disproportionately affect women. Learning about cyber crimes equips women with the knowledge and skills to protect themselves from various online threats, maintain control over their personal information, and effectively respond to cyberbullying or harassment. In this course, we will cover some of the major cyber crimes that affect our lives, how to prevent the same from happening to us and people around us, and how to address the issue in case someone is affected psychologically or financially. You will be surprised to learn that the National Crime Records Bureau reports a 24% rise in cyber crimes in 2022 and a 9% increase in crimes against the elderly. From chatting with friends on social media, virtual platforms used for education and work to even shopping, the digital world has become an integral part of our existence. While this digital revolution has brought immense convenience and opportunities, it has also given rise to a number of cyber crimes. Hence, it is even more important for everyone to understand the background of these crimes and protect our personal and professional data to prevent these from happening with us and others around us. Here are some of the most common forms of cyber crimes that we will learn in more details in this course. Hacking and identity theft, phishing and wishing, QR code scam, choose jacking, gaming and shopping scams, cyber stalking, cyber bullying, and online sex traffics. How do you protect yourself from these? Cyber security is like a digital shield that protects us from these unseen dangers by protecting digital systems like computers, smartphones, tabs, networks and digital data from theft, damage or unauthorized access. 
in this course we will delve deep into why cyber security is crucial in our lives how it impacts us and what can we do to stay safe so learners fasten your virtual seat belts as we embark on a journey to understand the importance of cyber security before understanding the major cyber crimes it is important to understand their modus operandi hacking refers to the act of gaining unauthorized access to computer systems networks or digital devices with the intent to manipulate steal data disrupt operations or perform other malicious activities hacking is often done through malware malware like viruses trojans ransomware are specifically designed to disrupt damage steal or gain unauthorized access to an individual or an organization's digital devices What is identity theft? Identity theft involves stealing of personal information such as Aadhaar card number, PAN card details, voter card number, bank account details to commit fraud or other crimes in the victim's name. This fraud takes place through phone calls or even text messages. In the case of fake calls, fraudsters impersonate bank or e-wallet representatives and call the victim. urging them to update their KYC immediately to prevent account blockage during this process they ask the victim to share their OTP post which the caller gains access to their password and other critical details in case of fake messages victims receive a message from a mobile number containing an unknown link with the pretext of updating their KYC If the victim clicks on the provided link in the message, they are directed to a fake website, which is very similar to the original site. Here, they are asked to enter their bank username, password, OTPs, and other sensitive information, which is then used to take money out of the victim's bank account. In this section, we will identify and analyze cyber crimes that lead to financial losses in individuals irrespective of their gender age city or educational qualification phishing phishing is a type of hacking where attackers use fraudulent emails websites or messages to deceive users into revealing sensitive information like passwords or credit card details what is phishing Vishing is a type of cyber crime where scammers use voice calls. They might pretend to be from a bank, a government agency or a trusted organization to gain the victim's trust. They might create a sense of urgency or fear such as claiming that there's a problem with the victim's account that needs immediate attention. Remember the first case? They will try to extract personal information from the victim such as passwords pin numbers account numbers or other sensitive data once they obtain the victim's information they can use it for various fraudulent activities such as accessing bank accounts making unauthorized transactions or stealing identities what are upis or qr code scams many of us sell products on online platforms fraudsters pretending to be common people show interest in your product instead of sending money to you they use request money option through UPI app most of us fail to notice this and approve the request immediately the fraudsters are able to pull money out of our bank account what is juice jacking in this type of cyber theft when you connect your mobile to an unknown or unverified charging port like wifi is a public places it opens the door for unknown apps or malware to be installed on your device These malicious apps or malwares can grant fraudsters control over your mobile, providing them with access and the ability to steal sensitive data including mails, messages and even saved passwords. Gaming and shopping scams. What are lottery scams? Scammers inform victims that they have won a lottery or prize and request an upfront fee or personal information to claim the prize. Often these lotteries do not even exist. Once you pay the money, it's lost forever. Shopping frauds. Fraudulent online shopping websites offer attractive deals or discounts to lure customers. After receiving payment, the scammers may not deliver the promised goods or services. What are gaming scams? This is a growing concern, especially among students and young gamers. These scams involve fraudulent activities related to in-game purchases, 
अकाउंट थेप्ट और फेक गेमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल आइडेंटिफाई एंड एनालाइज साइबर क्राइम दैट लीड टू इमोशनल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल इम्पैक्ट इन इंडिविजुअल्स कॉन्ट्री टू मोस्ट फाइनेंशियल क्राइम्स दिस टाइप ऑफ क्राइम्स दैट हैव लॉन्ग लास्टिंग इम्पैक्ट ऑन अस एंड मे इवन लीड पीपल टू कमिट सुइसाइड वॉट इज साइबर स्टॉकिंग This is a form of harassment or stalking that takes place online through social media, mails, text messages and other online platforms to repeatedly harass, threaten or intimidate someone. Cyber stalkers may engage in various activities including continuously sending unwanted messages, post false, damaging or humiliating information about the victim, steal victim's personal information to create fake profiles in their names. to impersonate or defame them what is cyberbullying cyberbullying includes sending posting or sharing negative harmful false hate speeches or mean content about somebody else what are online sex rackets this refers to illegal activities conducted through the internet or online platforms where vulnerable individuals are forced or lured into engaging in sexual activities Victims are often attracted to online dating and romance scams, promise of travel or a better life abroad, false job offers, fake modeling or talent agencies, sex extortion that involves threatening victims in return of money, otherwise the release of explicit photos or videos they may have obtained from the victim. Having understood the various types of cyber crimes that exist around us it is also important to identify methods to prevent the same from happening to us and people around us a key challenge that contributes to the increased vulnerability of women to cyber crimes is limited access to digital literacy and cyber security education lack of opportunities to develop digital skills and knowledge about online safety can make women more susceptible to cyber threats thus it is important to identify methods to learn about it to prevent the same from happening to us and people around us preventing cyber crimes in india as in any other country involves a combination of personal responsibility technological measures and legal safeguards here are some steps and practices to help prevent cyber crimes in india strong passwords Please use strong and unique passwords for your online accounts. Combine upper and lower case letters, numbers, special characters. Avoid using easily guessable information like birth dates or common words. Two-factor authentication. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to provide two or more authentication factors to access your accounts. Beware of unknown attachments or links. Be very cautious about clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown or suspicious sources, especially in emails or messages. Cyber criminals often use phishing to gain access to your information. Never share confidential information over phone. Be cautious if you receive unexpected calls from unknown numbers. Never share sensitive information like your bank account details, social security number or passwords over the phone, especially if the caller pressures you or creates a sense of urgency if you are unsure about the legitimacy of a call hang up and verify the caller's identity through official channels or contact the organization directly using trusted contact information the national cyber crime reporting portal and cyber baap which stands for bullying awareness action and prevention are online portals where one can report the entire incident if the harassment continues or escalates you may want to consult with a lawyer who specializes in cyberbullying and online harassment legal action may be necessary to protect your rights and pursue the perpetrator various legal sections like section 292 section 354d section 507 509 66e 67 67a b of the it act are dedicated to address various types of cyber crimes you can learn more about these laws through websites like the information security education and awareness and ministry of electronics and it or even by simply googling these sections 
We hope that this course has been able to ignite your passion about the importance of cybersecurity. This course is designed to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the principles, strategies and tools needed to protect digital systems and sensitive information from cyber threats and attacks. All the best for your future endeavors and thank you for participating in this course. Throughout the duration of this course, we have used several images which we have taken from various sources that we would like to credit. Thank you.